appreciate y'all chilling and politicking and paying attention because it's real vital. You heard me? Trench Talk TV. So that's what it's going to sound like. It ain't going to sound like nothing sugarcoated. It ain't going to sound like what you want to hear. It's going to be Trench Talk. June 2018, you come up, you got a kid. You, 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 you so ready to see. You, how was that transition? What's the first thing you ate first? What's the first thing you ate? You remember? When I first came home? Yep. What Kiwi guys to which? What Kiwi guys to which? I'm listening. I'll tell you right now. Oh, I don't even know. I know, I, I, I know this for sure though. That ain't important. I know, know this for sure though. <laughs> Shout out to my cousin Ryan Stone, cause I had one start staying with my cousin Stone when I first came home. After I was staying with my sister Pilot. Well, so I ain't gonna lie, bro. And I got on drugs real bad, like after, like you know what I'm saying. After like I had been home for a second and stuff and. I really just, like I told you, I came home, I wasn't prepared, you know, so I got a little taste of drugs and stuff and I got like off balance. So it's like a lot of stuff that I did do fresh coming home and I got on drugs bad and you know, a lot of my sister died, a lot of more stuff transpired. I got on drugs bad again and just like certain stuff I really, you know what I'm saying? Well, you have, what, what, um, did you, did you find work? Were you able to find work at this time coming home? Huh? Were you uh, having a hard time finding work uh, when you came home? Like a job? Yeah. Nah, I did. I didn't have a hard time. That's the one thing I thank God for, because, you know, ever since I, you know, from the time I stepped foot out the door, like, me going to get a job, it wasn't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a blessing, bro. It's... It, you were able to hold it together pretty good, because I, from the outside looking in, I couldn't tell anything about being on no drugs, anything. Man, I know you came home and it looked like you got straight to it as far as uh, pursuing a rap career. Mm -hmm. Um, How was that? What inspired that? What, my rap career? Yeah. Oh. Matter of fact, I seen a, uh, a, a picture of uh, you and Boosie on Instagram, one of the first nights you came home. Uh-huh. How was that? Oh, we had a blast in New Orleans. It was amazing, though. Some, you know, something you lay in your rack and think about it and actually go home and, you know, it be just that. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Yeah, that was, that was nice. Yeah. yeah that was real. What, what influence you want to rap when you came home? Uh, before I went to um, jail and stuff, you know. You know, me and Boo had did that in primetime song. Right, right, right. You know, and... Plus, how we used to already do a little some the songs and stuff on my block, you know. If I had a little click house and stuff, we used to be doing some music in there. So I always knew I kind of could flow a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So when I used to be hearing people really repeat my songs and stuff and rap it, and I noticed that they wasn't just playing, just trying to make me feel good. They had really let me know like they like my music. That's when I started saying, "Well, man, I'm just try it," you know what I'm saying? To see, you know. Cause it was a situation with, you know, a little old song I had did, you know, we playing NBA Live in the house, you know, Boo was rapping a song that I, and I'm thinking he joking, you know what I'm saying? But he like, man, you got off on that bit, you know, so for somebody like that to tell you that about. That put that, that put that banner in your back. You know what I'm saying? Even with the primetime song, like even when I, when I first did that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's old as fuck, but I'm just speaking on, you know what I'm saying? Like, what inspired me to do music. You know, when I did the primetime song, Boo let me hear it in the yo. He like, can't nobody else get on this but you. You heard me? Got in the yo. Um, went handling my business, you heard me? Went back home, because I was on house arrest at the moment. So, um, probably that's the dead ghost them. Ghost and Larry, they called me. They're like, man, Boo fucking with that song, you heard me? I'm like, yeah. They put him on the phone, though. He like, man, you did your shit, man. I'm like, man, stop bullshitting. He like, man, you know I don't play like that long story short, but that was that was maybe like when I knew that I can inspire people that who really like got big names and they you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's your favorite uh what's your favorite song off your uh latest project Tunnel Vision? 
I don't have a favorite. I like all of my favorites. You had a good, uh, did it get uh, get a good reception? Uh, what you mean, like, for like people are like? Yeah, as far as uh, far as people reaction to it, man, you came, you dropped a few cities. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I did get some good feedback. People said that they liked it, but like, um. That's not really a problem I have. Like even like with like with views and like getting like certain people to like, you know, like that's not really like a problem. Like some people have more, but that's that's just a blessing that they have. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't compare like what I have and whoever have more than me. Like I ain't doing my thing. Like you know, cause they got some people that really have what it takes to be a rapper. Got the money, the the, the all the right stuff, but they just can't get no. You know, the real independent grind. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, yeah, you know, so I have my own studio, my everything, you know what I'm saying? I did all this by myself, you know? Real talk. Shout out to you on doing that, man. A lot of people would have came home and tried to use up the resources they had. Yeah, yeah. And that's another thing, like, you know, so many people are like, man, why you ain't in the A, ooh? Man, I would love to be in the A, but it's just like, shit. You know, at the end of the day, when, you, when your pockets ain't straight and you ain't got nothing that you can, Fall back on, and that shit don't feel good when you gotta answer the other person's rules and how it's going, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, you know, that love, I always be that strong, you know what I'm saying? But it's just that, gotta get myself together first. Once I get myself together, then shit, everything else, shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. 